to New Day Northwest. We are still here with Seattle restaurateur and celebrity chef Shota Nakajima. We know and love him from Top Chef, and now he's starring in Tournament of Champions on the Food Network. This is Guy Fieri's show, right? Yes, it is Guy Fieri's show. What was it like working with him? Is he cool? He's incredible. You know, one of the biggest things I remember from the whole entire competition is, you know, I won't get into detail, but every single time someone gets kicked off or whatnot, mm -hmm. he takes his time to go talk to that person to 15 to 20 minutes. Stop. And this this guy works like 100 plus hours. Oh my and, gosh. And when the weekend hits, he invites everyone to come to his house and eat and hang out. and. I don't know, afterwards I was like, this guy's the definition of hospitality and I really enjoyed working with him. That is amazing because you see someone on TV and he seems like such a great guy, diners, drive-ins and dives, I mean he, he's really kind of dedicated himself to, like you said, hospitality, to, to showing who people are and I love that. Um, a number of your competitors are also Top Chef alums. Is it helpful to know their cooking style? Like you're like, I remember, you, I, like, is it helpful to know that? Is it a tight group? It's a tight group, but you know, I think at the end of the day, everyone who's cooking at this caliber knows that the best way to compete is cook the best way you can. Right. So I don't think anyone's actually looking at what other people are doing while they're cooking at all. Like, I don't, I kind of blank out and I'm like, oh, there's five minutes left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that makes sense. It's focus, you do you, focus on you. <clears throat> when you're doing the challenges, uh, how do you deal with the pressure? Because just watching these, th like, I would probably shut down and freeze and be like, ah. You get eggs. I yeah. mean, how do you deal with that pressure? I mean, but you're such a chill guy. I mean, does it even bother you? You know, I think it's working in the industry and growing up in the industry for 18 years. You yeah. know, on Friday nights, there's all these crazy things. And as you go, I think you learn that the best thing to do is just one thing at a time, yeah. one thing you can do, especially in those moments. And I think that years of practice just help out in the environment when I'm like, you know, competing. <laughs> yeah, you're just born for this. I love it. Uh, we were talking about Taku earlier. I want to talk to you about Co Kobo. Kobo, yes. Tell us about what you've created there. Kobo is a Detroit style pizza with a little Japanese twist. Nice. Um, so the original story was, you know, I was talking to Red Hook Brewery and they were, you know, I was like, hey, let us take over. We're right next door. Let's work on operations together because the strong, you guys are strong at alcohol. Yeah. I'm strong at or food. Yeah. Um, and originally I was going to go in with a Japanese concept, something in the lines of okonomiyaki or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, as, but as I visited, I realized there were a lot of patrons already going to the space. Mm -hmm. And going in and changing everyone's comfort food to something that I like only felt a little, you know, not correct. Right. Um, and kind of w when I was thinking about it, uh, I had Detroit style pizza with my friend actually in LA. Lots of weird, <laughs> weird story. Where one yes. typically has Detroit style <laughs> pizza, obviously. Um, but I, I trained in a city called Osaka where it's carbs on carbs. You eat yakisoba noodles with rice. You eat ramen oh, with a bowl of rice awesome. on the side. You eat yakisoba noodles inside of a bread as a sandwich. It like, sounds amazing to me. <laughs> so when I, when I had the Detroit style pizza, it, you know, it was in the middle mm -hmm. of like, okay, what do I do with, you know, Red Hook Brewery, what kind of food do I put mm -hmm. in? Um, that came, just that clicked really well because I was like, oh, this is very starchy and carb forward. Yeah. Kind of the way I like it because it reminds me of Osaka with a lot of sauce and delicious toppings on top. Well, and I love how thoughtful and intentional you were about what others' experience would be. So you kind of delivered and catered to that. Talk about the definition of hospitality there. I, I Before I let you go, I'm going to need you to settle a debate for me. Yes. Uh, pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? Yay. Yes! yes. Cool. <laughs> Thank you! Show us said that. it. It is law. There you go. I actually oh. just added a new uh, pineapple pizza on. It's the, you know, the Chinese style baked pork belly? Yeah. So it's that with the crunchy skin, kimchi, uh, kimchi oh. paste mixed in with the tomato paste, cilantro, pineapples, and just a bunch of delicious sauce. On I top. will be there eating the whole thing. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank it's you. always a pleasure to talk with you, and I can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you. All right. Well, coming up.